glory be Lord unhindered. The Spirit of God said there are many young and healthy, many that have been healed right now. The anchor will become the magnet that will bring many others into the truth of God's love. Precious Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your word. Letting us, you've given a man of God by the Spirit. And even today and in the days ahead and leading up to the Healing Streams Life Service and during the Healing Streams Life Service sessions by the power of the Holy Ghost, there will be unprecedented testimonies of healings. Men and women, boys and girls, coming out of sickness, entering into divine health and joining the workforce of the devil are destroyed everywhere. Men and women, boys and girls that have been oppressed by the devil are released into the liberty of the sons of God to enjoy the love of Jesus. Father, we honor you and we worship you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name forever. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. In the mind right now, sitting that at still thanks. Let's get ready for the special worship moment with the love words.
Glorious, exciting time. It longer. The power of God is streaming from this place. All you have to do is step in. We said to you, when we pray, pray. That's your connection to the power of God. When we worship, you also worship and participate of healing. Praise God. Thank God, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, for the healing that people still experience around the world today. And we are going to be sharing these exciting testimonies. I have three wonderful ladies with me on set. And I'm going to start with Sister Carol Ellers from South Africa. Sister Carol, you got healed of asthma for 55 years. You had been, you'd had asthma for 55 years. Can you share your testimony with us? Yes. Um, I had asthma f from the time I was born. I can't remember a day that I didn't, that I didn't have it. Um, I, I wrote in for the healing school in March. No, first of all, can you just tell us, you know, you talked about from when you were a child. How, how did it affect you? You know, if somebody hasn't had asthma, they may not appreciate how, how difficult it is, how, how it is. So I want you to tell us, first of all, how it was for you from a child growing up. How did it affect your education and your life in general? Yes, I was, um, well, I was often off school. In the, um, I can especially remember a lot in, my, in the junior school. Um, I was off school a lot. And, um, and you're sick a lot because you can't, you can't breathe properly and, you know, these things. So... There was a lot of medication, and when I was a child, they didn't actually know what it was. Um, but when I got older, then they realized it's asthma. And um, so, yeah, it was a lot of medication and that. And then when I got older, of course, it you know that certain things make you sick. So when you, um, certain smells make, you, you know, your chest close up, or certain things like um, I'm allergic to, to cat's hair and dog's hair and and, and things like that. So, um, you know, all these things. And you actually have a fear inside of you that, you know, this, no, oh, I don't want that because I know I'm going to get really, you know, horribly sick from that. And um, you can land up in hospital. I've been in hospital with um, my lungs and, 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 you know, with the asthma and that. And that they've, yeah, I've had to be on those, um, the oxygen, uh, oxygen masks and things um, for like two weeks, two and a half, three weeks. Um, so, yeah, you get really, really ill, and it's, it's, it's not good, and it's, it's not fun um, being sick like that. Mm. Praise God. So what happened to you? How did it change? Because you're here to testify. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Your faith was boosted. Yes. Praise God. And um, then I um, and then I joined the healing school prayer network. Okay. And so after we doing like midnight prayers, and um, they were praying for the for the nations, the people that are sick as well, but also for the nations. And when they prayed for the people that are sick, um, I just like lay down on the bed and I said, I'm going to receive mm. this. Mm. Hallelujah. In your room, you were lying down yes. in your own room. Yes, in my room. And, um, yeah. I just knew it's like, um, God showed me sort of that they, they, and yeah, and then the next morning when I woke up, the symptoms were gone. Wow. So now from around March until about September, October, I'll continually sort of get sick and struggle and what have you. And then it stopped. You'd suffered with for 55 years, just yeah. gone like that. Yeah. You see, it's so important. And that's why, like I said, every, program with the healing school healing is available now she was in she was uh, she joined the healing school prayer network and during one of the prayer sessions 
members of the Healing School Prayer Network have times of prayer. And during one of those sessions, she was touched by the power of God in her own room, lying down in her own room. And from then till now, no more symptoms. In fact, this would have been the peak period when you should have been hospitalized, having to take drugs and having your struggles. But it's all gone. Praise the Lord. What would you want to say to Pastor Chris and to partners of the Healing School, including prayer partners? Mm. And this, I want to say thank you to the partners for making it possible. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I have with me uh, on my right-hand side, Sister Temitope Kuponi. She was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And um, it was a, a, a long journey, which you're going to tell us about. But today you are healed. Can you tell us your story? so much ma i want to say a very big thank you to a man of god for this great opportunity pastor dela Phillips, thank you so much thank for you. giving me the opportunity to share my testimony um it started in 2014 um i observed a growth just at the center of my neck then i visited the hospital to check out what it was and then after some series of tests and examination I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. So I was booked for surgery, which I did in May 2014. But after the surgery, um, I was still at the hospital. I observed that um, my whole body was kind of useless because I couldn't sit, I couldn't lie down, I couldn't stand. I was having um, dizziness. Then there is this very strong tingling sensation from, it usually starts from my leg to my hands, then to other parts of the body. Then I wasn't seeing clearly as well. So it's also scary. And then um, the doctors had to check what was happening. Then I was placed on medication for two days. So after two days, I felt better. But then I was told that the medication I took I had to continue taking it for the rest of my life. Wow. So that was a very terrible news for me. And, but then I felt that I had no choice. So I took it for about seven years until I heard about the healing streams, life healing services with a man of God. So you were on this medication for seven years. For seven years. And you had years. to take it out every day. I, yes, I was taking it every day. Each time I miss it, all the symptoms I had then will come back. Like the whole body will be shaking. I won't be able to sit. I won't be able to stand. The weakness will come in. Then dizziness. I will not even see things clearly. Standing from afar, I won't see people standing close to me. Yeah. Like it will be like the whole system is shutting down. So that was yes. Anytime I miss the medication, I always go through that. And so even when I'm traveling, I ensure that I have a certificate of it in my bag because I couldn't afford to just miss it for a day. So I took it for seven years until I heard about the healing streams, life healing services with the man of God, you know, in March. And then before the program, I was so How expectant. did you hear about it? Um, it was announced. I, I, I saw it online. It was announced. So okay. I registered for it. I got the registration link and I registered for it. So after the registration, my faith was stayed up because I knew that it was a yes or a yes for me. Hallelujah. That I, is, there is no way I'll continue taking this medication for the rest of my life. And then the cancer, I can't afford to continue living with this cancer. So I was prepared for the program. I prayerfully prepared for it. And then I knew that my faith will work for me. So at, on the 12th of March, fell under the power. And then I heard a voice. That means you were in the studio. Yes, Pastor. Okay. I heard a voice, get up, you are healed. Till today, I can't even place if it was the voice of an angel that I heard or human, but I just heard the voice, get up, you are healed. And I stood up. I was jumping. I was excited. I was all over the place. It was after jumping for a few minutes that I realized that I was actually jumping. Unlike the me that I used to know, if I walk, 
um, short distance. I'll have to sit to catch my breath. You know, it would be like I've been running a very long distance because I get tired easily. So I was jumping. After jumping for a few minutes, I realized that I was actually jumping. I was excited. And, you know, I started calling people, my family members, to tell them I have been healed. Oh, you know, and pastor, since then, since March, I stopped taking the medication. Hallelujah. The medication that I couldn't afford to stop for one day, I stopped it since March. No symptom, no dizziness, no weakness. Now I even walk out. Like I can wow. jump, I can <laughs> run, I can skip. I'm totally fine. Wow. I received my healing. Pastor, I'm so excited in my spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What, the people around you, what do they think about this testimony? Did anybody know about the case and what, what do they think? immediately after the service passed, I called my family members. Some of them couldn't even talk on phone because of the shock. Like, you are healed? Like, do you know what you're talking about? You are really healed? I said, yes, I'm healed. And since then, you know, even when I want to talk to people now, that is what I start with. When I want to evangelize to people, now I have what to tell them. Oh, I don't hallelujah. need to stress myself. I just share my testimony with them that see what God has done for me. So do you really think there is no God? He's performing miracles. Pastor, I am, I'm just so happy about my healing. Wow, praise it the Lord. It has affected so many things around me. You know, I've been able to talk to people and... People even receive salvation as a result of my testimony because God. they didn't believe that miracles are real, but they saw someone close to them receiving miracle. And then for over three months, like I just stopped taking the medication like that. They, they saw it like it's so real to them. So, Pastor, I'm, I'm winning souls with my testimony. Oh, praise <laughs> God. Hallelujah. What would you like to say to a beloved man of God and to every partner of the healing school? To the man of God, Pastor, thank you so, so much. Thank you for giving my life a meaning. I, I don't know where I would have been right now because usually I cry a lot in my room thinking about the medical condition. You know, and then seeing the, the medication that I take everywhere, it started everywhere all around the house. But things changed after I had that experience with the man of God. Pastor, I love you so dearly. Thank you so much. And to the partners of the healing school, I'm saying thank you. Thank you for all you are doing. Thank you so, so much. God bless you. Wow. God bless you. Every partner of the healing school, God bless you for all that you do and for making this happen for not just her because she represents so many other people that you may never meet on this side of heaven but they're all saying thank you to you and the lord himself is saying thank you finally for tonight i have pastor sharon brett from the reunion islands and you got healed of sciatica a very painful condition you got healed of sciatica during the healing streams live healing services would you share your testimony with us I would like to thank our dear men of God, highly esteemed Pastor Chris. It's an honor, it's a privilege to be here. Thank you for what you are doing for the world. You are a great man. So thank you, Pastor Deola Phillips. Thank you, Ma. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. And I give glory and honor to God that in 2017, during my pregnancy, I was diagnosed with a sciatica pain on my right leg. And this condition, uh, the doctors say that uh, when you are pregnant, sometimes some women uh, used to have it, and after giving birth, uh, automatically the pain goes. But for, my, for me, the pain goes, uh, does not stop. It goes on and on, and every time, each day, uh, when I w used to walk up, I need to think, just to stand from my bed, I need to think what position I need to take so that I can uh, just uh, go up without pain. And uh, I used to take uh, drugs because sometimes it is very painful. It reduces uh, my activities. I can't uh, uh, walk. Full. And uh, during the healing stream live on March, I got my healing, oh. and I'm very grateful to God for our dear men of God for that miracle. On, it was on Saturday. We are watching with my husband at home, and as we were watching, I, I said, 
today it's my day. I need to get a heal and be relieved of that pain because it's enough. I saw miracles happen everywhere. The people got healed. So that strengthened my faith. I said to myself, today it will be my day. And while Pastor one ministering, he come on stream on the set. He said he will pray for everyone who are watching at their home. And like he said, put our hand on the stream. I do like this. I put my hand and he pray for us. And he said, do things that you couldn't do things uh, usually. I jumped straight from my, from my, uh, from my uh, seat and I was running in a yeah, house. Remember you, you said that before, to get up you have to think. What position yes. you are going to be in to, to get up. So you just found yourself jumping up. Jumping on my feet. And I was running in my house. My husband was looking at me. My children, they did not understand what was happening. I was, do, I was doing things. I was running on my feet. I was uh, 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 up and down, up and down, automatically without a pain. Since that day, I give glory to God, Pastor. I have no pain. I testify. Every, every person who knows that who I was suffering from this, I tell them our God is a living God. And he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's the same. And what he has done for me, he can do for every person. Hallelujah. Thank what did you. it mean to you that you got healed in your home? You know, it, it's, I think that's something very special. There you were in your home, and then the power of God comes into your home. Oh, yes. That means an angel came to your home. Oh, yes, yes. It is wonderful. Uh, our God is not limited in a place. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Everywhere we are, in every city, in every home, we can get healed. We just believe and receive in our heart faith that we can be healed and we got healed. That's uh, what happened to me. I got healed in my home. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise <laughs> the Lord. What would you want to say to the man of God, Pastor Chris, and to all our partners? Oh, thank you, man of God. Continue what you are doing. You are doing a great work. Thank you for, the, the, for all platform you are ministering. Thank you for the word, your inspiring word, your encouragement. Everywhere we are, we can receive healing. We receive the word in the spirit. And I want to thank you, Pastor Ma. Thank you so, so much. It's only by grace we can testify, and we are here in Nigeria. It's by <laughs> grace. I am very grateful. Thank you for all your team. Thank you for all what you are doing. I encourage each one of us, continue to support the minister by our seeds. Thank you. Continue to support the minister for our, our prayer. Thank you so much, Ma. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I'm going to take one one last word from my panel. I just want you to talk to somebody who is preparing for the Healing Streams Live Healing Service in July. There's somebody who is thinking, um, I have this condition. Can you talk to that person and encourage them? To be with God. And that if you just believe and you really press in and you listen to what um, the man of God, Pastor Chris, says, it's going to boost your faith and it's going to be boosted in such a way that you're going to be able to actually receive. Because without that boost of faith it's difficult for me it was difficult to receive so they should continue listening so yes. what, this platform you're watching us on continue with us we have healing streams tv every weekend we're just ministering healing and faith so every weekend friday saturday sunday 4 uh, 4 p.m gmt to 10 p.m gmt plus one we have special ministration and it's important that you participate while we look forward to the July Healing Streams Life Healing Services. Thank you so much, Sister Tim. Thank you, Ma. Um, anything is possible. Anything is possible if you only believe. And God has done it for me. I believe he can do it for anyone. All you need to do is have faith and believe that God is going to do it. Whatever the condition is, God is going to take it away from me. He is able to do it, and he can do it for anyone. Thank you, man. Praise the Lord. It's important to share your testimony, because what we've seen on Healing Streams is that testimonies give birth to more testimonies. And like you said, what God did for you, he can do it for someone else. He's no respecter of persons. So thank you for sharing your testimony, and I'm sure we will have a testimony from your testimony. Praise God. And finally, Pastor Sharon. I want to encourage each one who is watching, each one who is hearing that our God is still alive. 
what he has done for us, he can do it for you. Our God is a miracle God. Hallelujah. Impossible for men because we are limited. But for God, all things are possible. I encourage you to trust God. To trust his word because his word is true. Mm. And I encourage you to register and encourage each one of your contact, in your phone contact, in your family, friends, neighbors, that I, we will do in Reunion Island. We will mobilize, mobilize every person that we know to get in touch with the healing school online for, for making tremendous power available everywhere. Wow. Praise the Lord. That's it. She said something very important. It sounds so... Um, simple, but she said, register. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Register, because that is your first act of faith. We talked about the four friends, but the Bible says Jesus saw their faith. They made the approach to come. And we received a prophecy that as soon as people begin to register for the program, they will start receiving testimonies. The healing will start as they begin to register. So I want to encourage you, if you're not yet registered for the program, go ahead and register now. If you're already in our community, you'll probably get a, a link to confirm your attendance. Go ahead and do so. And follow all the instructions to put yourself in a place of opportunity. Praise God. I want to say thank you to Sister Caroline. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Sharon. And thank you, Sister Temitope. Thank you for sharing your testimonies. It's always important that you do so. Praise the Lord. We're moving on into the next segment of the program. And while we get ready for that, would you watch the few videos we have for you? Arise in China. Arise in the United Kingdom. Arise in Taiwan. Arise because a new life has come. This is your moment of change. The set time for your miracle. Power of God is available to heal you at the Healing Streams Live Healing Services with the Man of God, Pastor Chris, from Friday the 9th to Sunday the 11th of July, 2021. Three extraordinary days of healing, miracles, and special blessings. Through this program, God is coming to you. His voice is coming to you. His power is coming to you. And that power will get into your body, eject the pain, eject the sickness. This is your time. This is your moment. Faith has come to you. It doesn't matter what the condition is. The power of God will locate you right where you are and cause a change in your body. Then backwards, you're here. Just put your hand over my hand right now. The power of God is reaching you. My son is healed of autism. He's free now. Glory to God from Canada. A lady came into one of our healing centers, deaf and dumb. And when you gave the word, her ears popped up when she's speaking. Glory to God. There will be miracles, signs, and wonders right where you are. Healing is a gift of God and comes by the Spirit of God. And when that gift is transmitted to you, it stays with you. Register now to participate at www.healingstreams.tv slash three days. The services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and the Healing School mobile app. The Healing Streams live healing services with Pastor Chris. Your set time for your healing. Giving to Healing Streams TV just got easier. You can be a part of the global reach and impact of Healing Streams TV around the world through your financial commitment. Sign up to be a monthly partner with us. You can also give specially for Healing Streams Testimonies Live and Healing Streams Weekly Broadcasts. The platform also allows you to make a pledge and redeem at your convenience. Other payment options available include payments via King's Pay and direct bank transfers. Visit our website now at www.healingstreams.tv slash partner to make your donation. Your giving will help extend the healing power of God to millions more in need around the world. God bless you. We are set to take the healing power of God to every nation, every city, every community, and every home. You can be a part of it by setting up your personal virtual healing center 
and take the atmosphere of healing and the miraculous to your sphere of contact. Here are simple steps on how to set up your virtual center for the upcoming Healing Streams live healing services with the man of God, Pastor Chris. Step 1. Register at www.healingstreams.tv slash virtual to create your personalized streaming and participation link. Step 2. Share the generated link to all your invitees. Step 3. Your invitees will join you on the live stream by clicking on the invitation link to join the Healing Streams live healing services broadcast. They will be able to chat, comment, and send in their testimonies and praise reports in real time on the platform. You will have the opportunity to see the names and countries of all attendees on your live stream page. The personalized streaming link can also be retrieved from the streaming page and reshared for more people to join the live stream. You can also set up an on-site healing center to stream the program to people within your locality. To set up an on-site healing center, follow the same steps for setting up a virtual center. Then connect the live stream to a projector, a television, or a smart device to stream the program to people in your center. You see, it's that easy. Set up your virtual or on-site healing center today. Join forces with our man of God, Pastor Chris, to take healing to the nations. Praise the Lord. We're back with another segment of the Healing School Online Prayer Conference. I'm sure you've been having a very inspiring time. We are always gr grateful to the Lord for every testimony that we hear. Praise God. You know, sometimes people... Um, just listening to somebody that own faith has been further inspired and boosted. Praise God. Now I have with me some very special guests on the set today. Special ministry of our man of God, Pastor Chris. Well, amazing partners who have worked together with us to take the work of God to the level that it is. And together we are moving forward. Every part in school today. Praise God. I'm going to start with um, Dickin Buki Olusoya. He's going to be sharing with us, and, and I have the same question for my three partners here, for partnership, and share some testimonies with us of your partnership, how you have advanced with your partner with the Healing School. So let me start with you, Dick Mbuki. Thank you. Thank you so much, man, for this awesome opportunity. First, I'd like to thank my man of God, my life coach, my words in my life over the years, your life, your words have made me who I am today. Thank you so much. And to you, I still see you. Thank you so much. The goal, when I was born into the ministry, I remember walking in, take the gospel to every man. And immediately I was inspired. And I started partnering there and then with, um, with my man of God. And something so remarkable was that my, the amount that I was partnering with was not that significant. But I was consistent in my partnership. And I've been consistent over the years. Praise the Lord. And um, as I partnered, I remember partnering with the healing school. We started out um, at Oregon. I remember then. And then we grew. We went to South Africa. From South Africa, we went to Canada. And then from Canada, we are here right live on the global stage with the healing streams. And I'm so excited because my partnership has brought me here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so, so excited. And the fact that the healing school is a vehicle by which we are fulfilling the vision of our man of God in taking the power of God to every man, to every home, is my joy and my conviction. Praise God. And my testimonies are countless. They are boundless. I have so much testimonies. I have protection, deliverance, I have increase, promotions on every side. And I, most importantly, I have rest. Pastor Ma, I found out that I don't struggle for anything. Hallelujah. I just walk into things. I walk into promotion. What others struggle for, I just walk in with ease. And I wonder that it can only be by my partnership. You know, and I remember um, the healings that we um, witnessed here at the program in March. I remember a woman that a uh, man of God ministered to. She had entered the, um, the hospital and had been in the hospital for three days before the program. And on the third day, I remember a man of God was standing right there and he ministered directly to her. 
and he, the moment he ministered to her she got her healing but the beautiful thing was that it was not only her but nine others in the hospital also got healed and came out with her they were discharged with her it was such an awesome experience and to me it's been a tremendous tremendous blessing to be a part of what is happening all around the world taking the power taking god's presence to the people and to the nations of the world it's been awesome man thank you so much praise the lord thank you so much thank you very much it's very important he talked about we started at orego partnership you grow with the ministry you grow with healing school so you're starting from one place and then the lord takes you through that divine on some particular things he talked about rest walking in the rest of god because what you what you make happen for others will be your experience he talked about protection he talked about uh, deliverance i'd like to hear from sister osaritin amafole you are a partner with the healing school uh, what is your inspiration for partnership? Um, what, what are your testimonies and what do you see yourself doing even more as a partner with the Healing Streams? Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor, for this opportunity to be on stage. It's been awesome partnering with you, taking healing to the world and to the nations of the world, you know, this many years. Thank you, ma'am, for the opportunity to be here today. My life is a testimony of grace, and that grace is from partnering, particularly with the healing school. I've experienced so much, you know, like Dickens said here, he said, so many miracles, boundless miracles, boundless testimonies. But I would just go, I'll testify, give my testimony, ma'am. I remember several years ago, you know, I was in, um, a healing service with a man of God. And my rent was due. I had so many bills to pay. We, we, we were like, okay, where, 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 where are we going to get this help from? This was about 18 years ago. And um, I was in a healing service, and I looked at the people getting healed of cancer, people getting up from their wheelchairs, and the Holy Spirit said to me, you know, these people, it's the same spirit now that we deliver these finances to you. Go and sow into the healing school. And I did. And my life has been like this. The grace has been awesome. That same week, every bill was paid. That same week. And I also remember, Pastor, several pregnancy. I remember the last miscarriage I had. The doctor looked at me and was almost crying. He said, I don't see anything wrong with you. I don't know what's happening. I said, there's nothing wrong with me. Don't worry. I was not reassuring. The, I was laughing and telling him, I'm fine. You will deliver my baby. And then the opportunity came to attend the Atmosphere for Miracles with our man of God then at the healing school. And I went. I got there. I was sitting next to a man. During the service, testimonies were going on. And then he tapped me on my shoulder and told me, the Holy Spirit said, you're going to have a baby boy. He said to tell you, I said, oh, really? You know, I already have a baby boy. I already have a boy. You know, I didn't really take, it, take him seriously. And then he tapped me again. I said, the Holy Spirit said, you're going to have a baby boy. And then I looked at him and I said, amen. And that was it. Within two, three months, I was pregnant, and then I had my baby. All from partnering with the healing school. There's been promotions. I don't, like he said, I don't seek for promotions. During these last healing streams that we had, a situation came up in my office. And um, my boss, they, they were restructuring. They were posting people out of different um, locations and then my boss called me where are you where are they taking you to are you not worried you are a manager you should be worried i'm like i'm not worried the holy spirit will take care of me i've never worried over such things and then i got a call one day i just got a mail that uh, this same boss that had called me i was to take over his position you know and <laughs> and <laughs> You know, I, I, and you know what happened? It was during that healing streams. I gave a seed for that purpose. And then I received, you know, that promotion. It can only be, you know, can only be grace. It's just grace. With partnering with the healing school, you just receive 
multiplicity of graces. It's been, it's from one level of grace to another, ma'am. Thank you so much, Pastor. Wow. I think we need to write a book called The Life of a Partner. <laughs> because it's a different life. It's an unusual life. Praise God. I'd like to hear from Pastor Ofre Bakomo, another very, very ardent partner of the Healing School. Can you share with us your inspiration for partnership and your testimonies being a partner with the Healing School? Thank you very much, Ma. First of all, I'll just start to, by saying to my man of God, um, thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for your investment in me. And thank you for the word of God that we have received from you that have made us global champions. If I look back, uh, the very first day I came into Christ Embassy, with no direction, no guidance, not knowing what to do, and sitting here today with great men and women of God, I'm eternally grateful to you, sir. Also, I want to say thank you so much to my mom. Pastor, thank you so much for uh, bringing out the best in me and teaching me the life of faith. Um, I've been on a journey, and uh, I'm going to speak um, testifying all the different steps I had to take to get to where I am today. Miracles can actually be constru constructed because I play in the uh, uh, real estate space and I see you go to places, it's just bushy. The next time you come, you see beautiful buildings. Something happened. And, and we, working with Healing School, and I've been able to construct my life and I'm still at the journey. It's just been glorious. The first time I gave was as a result of a problem. I had a, I had a child when I came to the church and she was very she was always sick and as a family we had to set out some money because we are expecting the sickness so every month we knew we know that we must go for admission we know that she must have malaria typhoid so one day a sister spoke to me in church and said don't you think you should begin to partner for anita and uh, looking at what i had then as a graduate and uh, I couldn't, uh, I didn't find a job. But I hear pastor told us we should get a job. Do something. Just, if nobody gives you a job, create one. So I was selling fairly used clothes. And the 200 that I meant a lot to me. So that was my first step of it. So I had to start giving for healing school for Anita. That was the opportunity God opened. But I realized that, you know, my first partnership was healing school. So I realized that the more I gave that money, the more I was able to do more than what I was giving, then I, that sickness just disappeared naturally. Hallelujah. You know, I didn't really have to pray. But because I believed, then I started to read the magazines. I started to get it. Because wherever your money is, you get, you'll be interested. So I, all the things I wasn't hearing before, I started to hear them. Because I was putting my money into partnership with Healing School. Then something significant happened, Pastor. My inspiration for life changed the moment I started giving. I started to desire to do more in the house of God. So for you to do more in the house of God, you must first of all take a step. Because before I started giving for healing school, I didn't have a desire to even be anything. But just giving partnership, it opened my mind that I, was, I, that I can do more in the Why am I particular about healing school? Because I remember... The pastor said that he was sitting and God told him. So it was a mandate to pastor. And if God gives a man a mandate, and this man has become so big, what I need to do is just to connect. So every year from that year as a family, we wanted to outdo our past. And each year, Healing School Partnership was something we wanted to do to break record. Even before pastor said we should break record, every year we made up our mind to break records. Our first 5 million was Healing School. Our first 10 million was Healing School. Our first 100 million is Healing School. Our first one billion is healing school. Why? Because over the years we have seen that when we break that record, everything about us breaks. Our finances just move. Everything just move. Our beauty, our glory, our grace move. You know, last year something significant happened. We didn't know about the pandemic, but I'm going to talk about the instruction as a Christian. Instructions are our life. I remember at the beginning of the year, Pastor called us to Asheshe. 
we, so many people didn't attend that program. But because as a family and as a child of God, I'm at the place God wants me to be. I remember pastor said something. He said, in three months, you are going to do what you want to do in a year. As, because he knew that the time was short. So I made up my mind that the next time we are coming for our church, I was going to testify that we had done all that we wanted to do for healing school before three months. And we did it. How it happened was the money in the account. No. I said, constructive money making comes from the Spirit of God. If you put your heart to do the things that God has called us to do. So in three months we had done it. Then when we did it, it opened doors that even with the pandemic nobody was going to work, we experienced 2,000% 2, 2, growth of our finances. For the first time, our company, you know, real estate, we had investors from over 30 countries of the world because healing stream was coming. You know, the Spirit of God started to do something. Now we can't go to South Africa. Now we can't go to Canada. Then the Spirit of God gave us a package, a global, what happened in healing, with the healing uh, online, conf, uh, the kind of crowd, we have never had it in any session. I've gone to South Africa session, I've gone to Canada session as a result of my giving. But it was not global. So we as partners, was a opportunity for us to go global that is the way i saw it yeah. so i made up my mind that we're going to do that has been opened then during when we we're entering the new year pastor now said something again he said break records and so we decided to say you know what let us break in this school record what glory so when i look back and i see i can still remember where i used to live and i know where i am right now you know god had to even change my name from patience to grace in the course of partnership. Like Pastor just said last month, he was talking about the change of name. And the Spirit of God reminded me that when Pastor came to Lekki Church, that was when the Spirit of God, as he was laying, I said, Your name shall not be grace. That was as a result of giving. So my desire to give was not because I wanted to be, I, I, my desire to make money was not because I wanted to be, I just wanted to be God's, I see where I found myself. Just trying to do God's desire. I just wanted to please God. I still see where they are. So what am I saying today? It is very easy to have lasting wealth. Just be, just do what God is interested in. Healing school is something that God, Pastor has told us that God had to talk to him. I cannot do less. Because that is God talking to me. And I remember the instruction that, you know, if you, you might be saying, I did so much in the first thing. You have to do another. You have to do another. Because goodness said, why didn't you just continue? So we are going to continue, continue, continue. And as I do so, I just see that we are getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. To now that sometimes when we look into some of our accounts, we are wondering, oh my God, just by saying yes to an instruction, from a man of God. When God speaks to you, is either he speaks to you directly or he speaks to you through your prophet. Healing Stream TV. It's God speaking to us. It doesn't matter where you are. Start. Have this bony desire to be relevant. You know, I looked at people like Pastor Nari, Pastor, when I was coming to Ikeja at that time, I was just, I just wanted to be relevant. I just wanted to be, that's it. I just, relevant in the house of God. But just trying to be relevant in the heart of God, I'm relevant in the world. Because I just wanted to be relevant in the house of God. But you can't be relevant in the house of God and don't be relevant all over the world. He's the one. one last week he told me, say, I'm your backer. I'm your promoter. He said, can you think of it? Just think and I make it happen. So he's saying today, wherever you are, at what level you are, you need to take an action. Start today and you will come back with a testimony. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, that is so inspiring. While, while she was saying, while she was talking, she made a statement that brought a scripture to my mind. And before I, I asked the pastors to speak, let me just share with us from Psalm 67 from verse 1 the purpose of prosperity the purpose of God blessing you us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us look at verse 2 the purpose of God's face shining upon you is so that thy way may be known upon the earth thy saving health among all nations may be known upon the earth again the healing school global from talking 
and the scripture says this is why you know when you understand the nations oh glory be to god you are also a partner what what is your inspiration and um what do you have to say to anybody today about partnering with the healing school and healing streams particularly thank you your is to the man of god i'm grateful to past pastor i'm talking about already it's a life so in yes in my home with our family um, every morning should be going there because is the mandate that God gave to the man of God. Since it's, that's the mandate that God gave to the man of God, it has become the mandate to which we must connect our life to. So there is no other purpose to live for. Oh, secondly, for the healing school, healing streams, and healing healing, um, healing, healing stream testimonies we t a tv it is um we we took ownership why just like the scripture you just read there's another scripture that inspire me a lot send us around the world with the news of your saving power and your eternal plan for mankind healing just like pastor said to us is God's eternal plan for mankind. So, where should our monies, our commitment, our life, why, where should it be devoted and committed to but the healing school? And we're so grateful that we can be in close proximity to what God is doing through the man of God, Pastor Chris, and we can be a partaker of that grace praise god but from that man the testimonies is another thing of course thank god for the testimonies we're hearing but i, I want to say to anyone you, you, hearing and you know we've not followed following any device fables this is real we are in the presence of miracles we are in the days of the supernatural we are in the days where miracles give birth to miracles according to, to the word of the man of god we're in the days where testimonies give birth to testimonies so you are not you are not wondering what you are not you are not you are not in in wonder you, you just know this is what to live for this is what to give for this is this has been a great motivation now you are hearing you are you are listening you are wondering there are the screens, you know, the, 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 uh, the account details are on the screens for you to be a part of what God is doing through the man of God, Pastor Chris, all around the world. There is healing streams coming up with healing stream with Pastor Chris coming up in July. That's where you should put your money. There is healing, healing streams TV that is always on. I mean, 18 hours every weekend. That's where to put your money. That's what you should live for. These are, are my motivation and my, my inspiration. Also, I, I, as a zone, our commitment to the healing, healing school is not, um, is, is total. And that's why every opportunity, every one man, every member, the pastor, through the ministry of pastor, brings to a zone in school i want to encourage everyone it's a life to live the testimonies are endless my icon comma we need to do the book the life of a partner is different from <laughs> it, 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 because we are testimonies and testimonies in my family i, I was sharing a testimony of my daughter yesterday uh, the testimonies are endless but if we go into that that will become personal but also this Praise the Lord. Thank you so very much. And I, I want to thank my man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Henry, Pastor. You're the reason why I'm here, and um, you're also the reason why I'm alive. Um, Pastor once said in his word, in one of his messages, that um, until you are convinced 
that there is no alternative to the word of God, there is something you will never enjoy in your life. I'm far prison. Uh, in 2000, the year 2000, I uh, was working in an organization and uh, everything was going on fine. And uh, one day we were told that they have a new investor. And now they came in uh, and they wanted to change the structures, change the staff, bring in some people. And all that happened on one of the days we came to work and the letters were given to us, to everyone, that they wanted us to go, you've been sacked and this, and they gave us some money. And pastor happened to be in Benin at that particular time for one fighting this for finance convention or something like that, you know. And um, they gave me a check. And that was all, all the time I put in, in the organization, they just gave me that, that check and I thought, what am I going to do with this thing? This was not expected. So I took that check, cashed the money from the bank, and went to church and dropped everything. You know, I went back home, spoke, told my wife everything that has happened, how we need to look for new, how I need to start looking for a new job and other kind of things to do. Then, just about two weeks later, one day I was standing in front of the house and somebody was asking, we just moved from the house where I used to stay and got to a new house. And one of the guys in that new apartment happened to work in this organization. Uh, you know, one of the new guys that was employed. And I got there and I was standing outside and the guy was complaining seriously that he was told not to come to work until he locates a certain person. And I, he was t t talking to his friend, and I was standing by, and he mentioned my name. And you were there? And I was there. And I thought, what did I do? Uh, should I tell this guy I'm the one? Was there a problem, or what happened? So I kept quiet. I remember going to church to see Reverend Tom, and I told him, this is what happened. And he said, go back and tell him you're the one. So the next day, I, you were about going to work, then I came out. And I said, you said you were looking for this person. I said, yes. I said, I'm the one. And he said, you can't be. I've been with you here since. <laughs> and I'll be looking for this person. And they've asked me not to come to one. You see, I said, I heard you. I said, I'm the one. What happened? He said, no, prove to me. So I went in, brought the letter, and I showed him. He said, really? He said, they said the letter they give you was a mistake and that you should maybe have done something wrong and, and get there and uh, anyway finally i got to lagos and so okay i have really done it you know and, uh, this is the time you know i got there i said okay you need to see md you need to see the dmd you need to see this you need to see that okay so finally got to the md and the man stood up and said i have not been resumed you see, I haven't gotten a job at that time. I simply told them, well, I have a job. I'm not resuming now. And they were pleading. More than this, and they doubled it. <laughs> I said, there is grace in this ministry. Water that flows from, see, that everything where the water gets into life came this is something I have experienced. This is about it. And it has taken me, the Bible says the part of the just is a shining light, a shining brighter. Pastor, my life has just been from one glory to serve God, and that's all. And I got to this, this where I am. And it's, I mean, it's because of my partnership. I'm even here today, and it's because of the partnership. So, um, this is my conviction. I'm so convinced, and I've experienced it, I mean, handled it, and I can see. So I can, I, I've tried it in everything I have done. The first time I traveled to South Africa was because of healing school. I was invited to healing school, and I saw the things that are happening over there. You see, when Lot went with Abraham, every blessing that was in Abraham was seen in the life of Lot. 
until Lord left. And you know the result. So, my connection, the way, I, my connection to grace is through my partnership. And this is what I tell a lot of people. And most times I talk about grace a lot. I said, pastor is grace. And that's why you see the things happening around. Now, let's come to the healing stream. How would you explain 4.1 billion to people? How could you explain all the testimonies all around the world? We listened to some yesterday. We listened to some here today. There is nobody, nobody who is truly connected to partnership, you know, that have not been lifted. No one in this ministry. You know, the Bible said, that will keep in perfect peace. Doing about the, listen, this is grace flowing to you. Just like Lord, stay connected. This is grace flowing to wherever you are. Whatever you want to do, this is the time to do it. The account details are up there. Whatever you want to do, this is the time to do it. I've experienced it and I'm passionate about it. And that's why, you see, with the healing school, you know, recently we had exhibition. And I thought, how am I going to communicate the healing school uh, without uh, the healing school sessions in Canada? Arms in healing school, what they do on all the projects. And we healing school with the GYLF, Project Lifesaver, and others. Especially when we started talking upon testimony right from, we had it in March. There have been testimonies upon testimonies, how they have moved in their businesses, how the healing had come to their body, several things. And you, they all know that it is as a result of giving to the healing stream. So I encourage you, wherever you are today, give. This is an opportunity. Give to grace. No one ever gives to God and be disadvantaged. Thank you. Thank wow. You. Praise the Lord. That is amazing. Glory to God. No one ever gives to God and is disadvantaged. And the healing school is, like Pastor Dick, uh, Dick was said, it's a mandate from the Lord to our man of God, Pastor Chris. The Lord said to him to take healing to the nations of the world and gave it to him as a priority. And that is what gave birth to the healing school that you see. It is that platform through which the man of God, Pastor Chris, carries out the mandate that God gave to him. And we're with him in this mandate, praise God. And every partner of the healing school, everyone that has joined forces with our man of God to take healing to the nations, you can see what your partnership has done. I encourage you to go ahead and give and sign up as a partner. If you've never been a partner with the healing school before, this is a moment to sign up as a partner. You can go to the details that are on the screen right now. Go to our healingstreams.tv and sign up to be a partner. You can give. You can subscribe to be a monthly partner. You can, you can make a one-time giving, but we encourage you to become a consistent partner with the healing school. Glory to God. We're going to take a few minutes now to pray for our partners. Pastor Dickwa is going to be praying for all partners of the healing nation to receive this is a moment for every single partner because god's power is available for you now the eyes of the lord are upon you now for good so get ready just watch this short video and then we'll go into a time of prayer for every partner have your expectation now praise god and as you're doing so also determine what you are going to give for the healing streams what you're going to give for healing school and you are going to receive a mighty blessing from the spirit of god hallelujah watch this Giving to Healing Streams TV just got easier. You can be a part of the global reach and impact of Healing Streams TV around the world through your financial commitment. Sign up to be a monthly partner with us. You can also give specially for Healing Streams Testimonies Live and Healing Streams Weekly Broadcasts. The platform also allows you to make a pledge and redeem at your convenience. Other payment options available include payments via King's Pay and direct bank transfers. Visit our website now at www.healingstreams.tv slash partner to make your donation. Your giving will help extend the healing power of God to millions more in need around the world. God bless you. Giving to Healing Streams TV just got easier. You can be a part of the global reach and impact of Healing Streams TV around the world through your financial commitment. Sign up to be a monthly partner with us. 
You can also give specially for Healing Streams Testimonies Live and Healing Streams Weekly Broadcasts. The platform also allows you to make a pledge and redeem at your convenience. Other payment options available include payments via King's Pay and direct bank transfers. Visit our website now. We'll help extend the healing power of God to millions more in need around the world. God. I, I know that you've been having an amazing time. I, I know that there has been transformation, transportation, healing school, online prayer. My father, my pastor, Pastor Chris, Oyakilome, DSCDD. Pastor, I'm so, so grateful. Thank you for um, diligently directing my life in the way that I should go. Thank you for taking particular attention, paying particular attention to my being useful to you. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. Thank you so much, Pastor. I find all the fulfillment in life just serving you and being useful to you in the cause that God has chosen for you. Thank you so much. And I want to thank the director of the healing school, um, the highly esteemed Pastor Deola Phillips. Thank you so much, ma. I love you so, so much. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Judges chapter 1. I'll just share briefly chapter 6 from verse 11. I'll just share very, very briefly. And we're going to pray for our partners all around the world. I was praying. I, still like to, I was praying that I will be opportune to pray for partners. And now by the Spirit, you give me the opportunity I always love to pray for partners. Praise God. So, Judges chapter 6, I'm reading from verse, 4, verse 11. And the scripture says, And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in opera that pertained unto Joash, the Abysrite. And his son Gideon threshed wheat by the wine, wine press. To hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him, The Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. I bring words to you today that the Lord is with you. All our partners and those that we partners with us in the healing in the healing school, in the healing streams with Pastor Chris and in the Healing Streams TV. Please put the scripture up. The, I bring words to you. The Lord is with thee. Thou mighty man of valor. You are beginning to see yourself as a mighty man of valor because that's the word of the Lord to you at this time. Please go ahead to the next scripture. Verse 13. Then, and Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befalling us? And where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of? Listen, he said, he's asking where be all his miracles which our fathers told us of? Saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of of the Midianites, the next verse. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? The next verse. Hallelujah. Okay, and he now said, and he said, he said unto him, O oh my Lord, wherewith? Now listen. God is granting us, all partners, unusual ability and grace to do mighty things as one man in this time. You know, and you know what? 
Your response is not like the response of Gideon. Gideon was asking where because they told him. But we, we live in the, in the presence of the miracles. The miracles, like I said, are giving birth to more miracles. The testimonies according to the word of the man of God is bringing out more, more testimonies. Look, look, at, look at the testimony of Jesse Aishida bringing forth another testimony. People are hearing the things, the mighty works that the man of God has Christ is rolling throughout all the world and more testimonies are coming forth. In my mind, in my head, what greater purpose should any man in this time live for? I've had some experiences of recent that has made decision and time where you, 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 you need to put in everything, your life, your resources, your, 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 your funds to the kingdom for such a time as this. Praise God. So we are not asking where. What are you, what are you doing? You are, you are taking action on how. So there are, there's so much to do at this time. There is healing streams with the man of God, Pastor Chris, coming up next month. As one man, you are taking over days. You are, you are, you are doing the God sponsorship. That's the thinking. That's the how you are, you are embracing. That's what you are embracing. That's what you are doing. You are saying, okay, healing streams TV. You are taking the Lord is communicating to you now. Embrace it and see you in it by the power of God's Spirit. And you just see the ability and grace has been released. The Bible talks about God has made all grace. All grace are bound towards you. So all grace are bound towards me right now to do things as one man. To do, to do the, the hundreds of millions, to do the billions as one man. I've, I've lambano the grace. And as you are hearing me, you have lambano the grace. The Spirit of God is saying, talking to one man. He says, you have access. He, uh, you are watching. Right. You see that through your finances or through your influence. You need to take steps now. And you are at time. I'll just read one. Hallelujah. Uh, this is such a time. That your affections, the Bible says, you should set affections of, on things above. This is the time where your affection is on things above, in, like he said in Colossians. Now, what are the things above? The miracles that we register, we record from the healing streams, from the healing streams TV, they are above things. They are things that that's where your money should be. And, and it brings to mind. The, the, the testimony of King David when he was commissioning for the building of the temple. He said, because I've set my affection on the Lord. He said, I've laid on ground, I've put in place gold, silver, silver for the building of the house. So when your heart is set on the Lord, when your affection is on God, there are things, you, your resources is laid for the propagation of the gospel. That's what he says. So King David said, because I've set my affection on the Lord, this and these are the things I'm doing. Praise the Lord. I want to encourage you at this time. You are watching us right now. You need to give. You need to sow seeds. You need to give for the healing streams. You need to give for the healing streams TV. You need to give for, I mean, all the healing platforms that the Lord has graciously and marvelously granted to our man of God, Pastor Chris. Giving into the healing school and the platform is life, is promotion. You just discover that your life is on a consistent course. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 13, it says there is, there, there is that make it rich but have nothing. So, but there is, there is that there is that make it himself poor to help to help propagate the gospel on our healing school platforms. Say, so, but that one has everything. Has everything. You have our account details on the screen. I want you to joyfully begin to give. Joyfully. 
put in your seat and don't 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 do small things i remember the man of god pastor chris said to us at the, at the, during the high ppc he says i don't do insignificant things so I don't want to do insignificant things. So I don't do insignificant things. It, it drilled into my spirit. So whatever I'm doing, I do significant things. So these are the days of God's power. Where from the, from the healing streams, wow, you, you, I, I feel like shouting. Just from one location, the streams of healing flows into homes all around the world. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, every tree that that stream touches is made alive. Can't have I mean, things are happening. These are the days of God's power. The, you, that's where you must be. That's where your resources must be. That's what you must be doing with your life at this time. I want to quote that final scripture. I just wrote, let me read it. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 19. Let me quickly just read it. Oh, Hallelujah. We are getting ready to pray for our partners now. Getting ready. And you know what? As we are getting ready to pray for our partners, I, I, you should begin to put money into that so that as we pray for you, there is seed on the ground. And uh, I mean, there are things your, your prayers are laying hold of and you are moving up by the power of God. So look at what the scripture says. Say, lay, lay not up for yourselves, treasure upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. He said, but lay up for yourself, hallelujah, treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor dust dot, dot corrupt. And where thieves do not break through nor steal. Hallelujah. He said, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I put something in my it says where your treasure is. Say lay up treasures in heaven. I put something in my note. I said, if when I lay treasures in heaven, when I give for the healing crew, it's healing streams. It says, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. I can't be laying up treasure in healing in his streams with a man of God, Pastor Chris, and I miss rapture because my heart is there. When you lay up treasure. With the healing school, your heart is with the healing school. You will be among the first to hear the sound because that's where your heart is. Hallelujah. You know, these are the days, these are the times where you are very mindful of scriptures. Please put the bar, put by the scripture. Let me just wrap up with that. Let me wrap. say, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Ask yourself, Where's my treasure? The next verse. He said, The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. My eyes is single for the sponsorship of healing school, for the sponsorship of healing streams, for the sponsorship of healing stream TV, for the sponsorship of healing healing to the nations magazine. My eyes is single. Say the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eyes be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. The next verse quickly. He now says, but if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is thy darkness. Hallelujah. He said, no man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And thank God for the man of God, Pastor Chris. Pastor, thank you so very much. You've given us a platform that we serve God with our lives. We are going to pray for all our partners god is making all grace abound towards all our partners all around the world wherever you are i want you to rise up on your feet we're going to pray it's a short prayer but the most effective prayer you've ever prayed in your life for all partners and i want to encourage you if you're not a partner yet and you are watching quickly partner so that the prayer is working for you quickly put your money there so that the prayer is working for you god is making all grace abound towards all our partners all around the world that they have in all sufficiency may abound unto every good work man takabaya so wherever you are go ahead and, and begin to speak in other tongues for all our partners for all our
call upon us. Pala masakatabai. Rate kete bonsaba. Rando sonto mala. Rapanda. Pale kondo sonte malija. Rata tapaka. Pondo zonde le bose. Rata kaba. Upon us, O God. Your eyes, O God. Your lane of treasures in heaven, O God. In the name of Jesus. Our cause is enlarged. Parondo sonde. Rapaka tatatata. Radelesa. Palondo jalamano sonda. Parondo seke panda. Parondo jalamandela. Palila keno seta. Radela haya. Rando sontala. Rapalo shande. Parido senta. Malekere sopala. Palele bosca. Palele shonde le bosa. We pray, O God. For the panasa. They are strengthened, O God. They are fine of their might. He strengthened, O God. To do greater works. Even in these last days, in the name of Jesus. Parabo Santa. Parodo Seke Bahaya. Mandala Bosoto Lobo Shaba. Paleleros Kerabodo Santa. Mandela Bodo Shaba. Parida Hai. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise, O oh God. Oh, wherever you are, lift up your hands. It's a sign of victory. Man of God has taught us. As we lift up our hands here on this platform, all our partners all around the world, they are having victories in their finances, victories in their homes, victories in their, in their, in their health, as we lift up our hands around the Sotopaka. Lord, we thank you, God, because our partners all around the world, in every sphere of their lives, yes, they are led in triumphant procession. In the name of Jesus Christ, none of our partners, oh God, they will not lose any battle. They will not lose any job. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, their lives, their families, they are preserved by the power of God's Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you, God, because you have made all grace, all grace, abound to all our partners. Land all grace abound to God, even as they hear, even as they are part of this online conference, uh, this prayer conference, uh, transformation is taking place. Uh, increase is taking place. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we thank you, our Father. We give you praise, oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor, I want to thank you so very much for making my life beautiful and useful. Thank you so very much, sir. I'm eternally very grateful to you. I, I think about you and I'm excited that you're my father. I'm grateful. And to our director, Mas, thank you so very much, Ma. I'm very grateful that, like I said, you always put me along on the things that are most important to the man of God, Pastor Chris. I love you, Ma. God bless you. Wow. Praise the Lord. I'm so glad I am a partner. Praise God. This is a very special moment. At this time, I want us to pray for everyone who is watching and has a health challenge. You're watching this broadcast right now. The Bible lets us know that sickness responds. It has intelligence and it responds. The choir should come back. Choir, come back. And it responds to instructions. One day, Jesus went to the house of Peter and his mother-in-law was there sick with a fever and Jesus the Bible says rebuked the fever he spoke to the fever and the Bible says the fever left so the fever understood instructions another time a centurion came to Jesus to pray for his servant and while the Lord was going to his house the man said because he had understanding Jesus described him as a man with great faith he said, don't come to my house. He said, I am a man under authority. And I give instructions to my servants and they respond. I say to this one, go and it goes and to the other one, come and it comes. He said, you can give instruction to the sickness and it will go. Praise God. So sickness responds to instructions. We've come to you today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name that is above every name. 
and we give instructions now to every sickness where you are put your hand on that part of your body where you have a healing challenge as far as you can get to that place if it's your knees put your hand on your knees if it's your head put your hand on your head if it's your eyes or your ears if it's your blood just put your hand around your whole body wrap your arms around yourself if there's a child near you put your hand on that child you want that child to be healed we are going to give instructions now we are going to give instructions now we're going to give instruction to cancer we're going to give instruction to heart disease. We're going to give instruction to fever, to chest pain, to asthma. Right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that name that is above every name, that all-powerful name, that victorious name, that name that is the highest name of all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, I speak to every sickness. I speak to the pain. I speak to the growth. I speak to the symptom. I speak to demons of deafness and dumbness. I speak to paralysis. I speak to every spirit of infirmity that causes one disability or another. That spirit that says that the kidneys will not function. That spirit that says that the heart will not function. That spirit that is affecting the lungs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that sickness. I rebuke that disease. I rebuke that spirit of infirmity. I command you now in the name of Jesus Christ come out of their bodies come out of their eyes come out of their heart come out of the pancreas I command that stomach cancer to die now and pass out of the body in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to arthritis I command you to go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that skin disease I address you in Jesus name leave now leave that child and return no more I speak to growths in the name of Jesus I speak now come out of their bodies leave them now return no more in the mighty name of Jesus and I speak to every symptom every symptom of sickness go now in the name of Jesus Christ I command healing for your body I command healing for your blood I command healing for your eyes for your tissues for your organs for every part of your body now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed take your healing now take your healing now and right in your home begin to do what you could not do before the sickness has heard he has heard because we have addressed it in the name of Jesus Christ and it is gone right now take your healing and begin to do what you couldn't do before if you couldn't stand get up now and get up now and begin to stand bend yourself in your home bend yourself move your body from side to side yes move your body from side to side if there was one ear that was not hearing close the, the one that is good and begin to hear now begin to hear now from that air because that deaf and dumb spirit has heard us receive your healing now take it in the name of Jesus do what you couldn't do before and let your re, begin to rejoice begin to shout begin to praise the Lord because something has happened in your home something has happened right now that's the power of God that lady is shaking there's a woman you are shaking you are vibrating in your house you're just shaking every part of your body is vibrating that is the power of God God yes that spirit of insomnia there's somebody you've been having trouble sleeping tonight you're going to sleep because that spirit of insomnia is departed from you oh glory 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 receive your healing now take your healing go ahead and do what you couldn't do before and send us your testimony now send us your testimony let's just praise the lord right now something is happening in many homes around the world receive your healing now and just bless the name of the lord call us on the phone send your testimony we want to take it now send your testimony now we want to take your testimony now just go ahead and rejoice the choir will lead us let's just praise the lord now come on
forever his name has power for all time we have some testimonies here can i just ask our pastors to help share some testimonies? hallelujah it's happening the streams of healing flowing from nation to nation mary from united kingdom she said thank you so much for what you're doing i had digestive problems yesterday 
as we started i got relieved and slept well last night i also gave into this vision and i received a financial miracle of money hallelujah. that i should have gotten since 2013. oh Glory hallelujah wow. <laughs> margaret from ghana says i received healing for my husband and i also received financial miracle while participating in the prayer conference Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Then, this, this is amazing. So Linda from Namibia, she said, Yesterday morning, my niece's son got very sick and was not breathing well. During the online conference, when we were praying for the sick, Pastor said we should call their names, and I called his name. Now the boy is sleeping well and soundly. Breathing difficulty is gone. I was also feeling pain in my throat and pain in the ears. After the prayer, the pain and discomfort are gone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Gloria from the United States. She said, I'm able to pray now. Say, I couldn't pray be because there was discomfort under my throat that caused pain in my head. You see, I no longer feel that pain in my head or in my throat. Say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Pastor, you, you, said, you said any opportunity, any program that we have in the healing school, just connect. There are miracles. He said, blessing from Nigeria. I said, I've been healed of nail pain. He said, it happened when Pastor Diola prayed tonight. He says, I just laid my hands and there was healing. Kalex from South Africa. He said, I just got my healing. I had breathing challenges. It was painful to breathe normally. So I had to breathe with my mouth open. Right now, my mouth is closed. I'm breathing and there is no pain. Oh, I'm shouting hallelujah. and I'm singing. Hallelujah. Uh, this one is from Namibia. It's a Linda from Namibia. See, yesterday morning, my niece's son got very sick and he was not breathing well. Breathing again. He said, during the online conference, when you were praying for the sick, pastor said we should call their names. And I called his name. He said, now the boy is sleeping well and soundly. The breathing difficulty is gone. See, I was also feeling pain in my throat and pain in the ears. After the prayer, the pain and the discomfort are gone. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. This is from Zambia. I said, I sent in a prayer request for my sick mother who uses a walking frame to walk. Today, I visited her and she can walk and stand on her own. Oh, glory hallelujah. This, this is from um, United Arab Emirates. He said, glory to God. I want to thank God for healing my body. He says, I used to experience itches all over my body with pains. Say, as I participated in this program, all the itches stopped. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I thank God. I thank Pastor Chris. He said, our faith prevailed. Hallelujah. Wonderful. This is a from Nigeria, Pastor. He said, I'm healed. And God has perfected his healing in my body. My eyes are okay. My blood pressure is normal again. And my bones have, have strength again. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise this Lord. one is from Kate from the United States. Thank you, Lord. I'm healed of stomach ulcer, heartburn, and ear pain. No more pain in my knees or difficulty swallowing food. God heard my prayers and has located me today. Thank you, Pastor Chris. Thank you, sir, for the Healing School Online Prayer Conference. Wow. God bless you, sir. I'm Hefzibar, Hefzibar from the United Kingdom. He said, glory to God. I'm healed of three years of serious throat discomfort as I participated. Hallelujah. Please go. Rhoda from Nigeria. He said, why were we watching the past report from Healing School Online Prayer Conference? He said, the power of God hit me, and I just knew that I had received my healing. I no long, I'm no longer weak and breathless. So no pain in my ribs and shoulder. So my chest is completely free. Wow. Praise the Lord. This is from Lovey from South Africa. I got healed of sinusitis during the Healing School Online Prayer Conference. Glory be to God. Thank oh. you, Lord. Mafako from the United Kingdom. He, say, he says, I had excruciating knee pains for about two weeks. He said, as we prayed, I received my healing. The pain just suddenly left. Oh, I can now God. bend my nails and walk properly without feeling any pain. See, I'm full of joy. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we still have some more, but I want us to begin to wrap up the service. I want us to pray. Pastor Larry, can you just lead somebody to Christ? There's somebody who is watching is not yet born again. And this is that opportunity the Spirit of God has to bring you into the family. Pastor Larry will lead to Christ. Praise God. You know, this is a unique opportunity, and now the Word of God has come to you. You're connected. God has brought you 
to the right place at the right time and if you're not yet born again this is your moment because in just a few minutes seconds really you receive salvation for your soul so wherever you are right now just assume a position of attention and I'm going to lead you in the prayer of salvation but you will be praying for yourself and the Lord will hear you just put your right hand on your chest just as a sign of your sincerity and seriousness and say these words after me say God Almighty thank you for the gospel thank you for the good news of salvation thank you for sending Jesus to die for me his blood was shed to wash my sins away and I believe in my heart and with my heart that you raised him from the dead and I confess now with my mouth that Jesus is Lord of my life and by my faith in him I now receive eternal life into my spirit and from this moment I'm born again thank you father for saving me now i can call you father in the name of jesus all things have passed away in my life all things have become new and from now i will walk in newness of life thank you lord for saving me i'm saved i thank you in the name of jesus amen if you said that prayer i want you to know that you're now born again you're a child of god now you're a member of god's family you're a member of god's family you're now a citizen of the kingdom of god and i pray for you in the name of jesus christ that from this moment the appetite of the new man in christ be awakened in you you desire the sincere milk of the word and you will grow we bless you with the word of God. We bless you with the spirit of God. And declare that now you're sealed. Yes, you're sealed. And you will be raptured at the sound of the trumpet. And from today, you behold all things that are new. And you'll enjoy the beautiful blessings of your salvation. And you also will tell others. You will tell others about the good news and even right now you can receive the holy spirit by faith just as simply as you received salvation into your spirit you can receive the holy spirit by just saying that lord i receive the holy spirit and thanking the lord for the holy spirit and just go ahead and thank him and give him praise and now you're empowered you're empowered to preach the good news to others and to be an effective witness and ambassador for Jesus. It's a new day for you and it's from glory to glory in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations to you. Glory. Now you're a member of God's family and from now it's from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Larry. And if you said that prayer of salvation, we will need to hear from you. We want to be a part of your Christian journey, and we have a special book we'd like to send to you. So please use the details on the screen to let us know that you gave your heart to Christ today, and we will get that book across to you. Praise the Lord. And for everyone that received healing, we're still receiving your testimonies. Please post them on the platforms on which you're watching, or send us a mail, or let us have the information. Your testimony is so important and because it can make something happen for someone else and the Lord wants to establish that testimony in your life well 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 Pastor, we are... I, I perceive my spirit there are many people that want to give because uh, as some are giving they are having testimonies and it is spreading yes as people are giving they are having testimonies and it is spreading people are getting so they, many people want to give okay into so... the healing so and they are looking for the details so just be, just hold on the details will come back and you can sow your seeds that's it the details are on the screen and remember you don't have you can continue to be a partner you can give today but we want you to become a partner we want you to work together with us on a consistent basis those that you have heard from today they are partners they didn't just give once they have become a part of the 
work by being consistent partners with the man of God through the healing school. And as you partner with the man of God, as the ministry is going and growing, you will also find yourself going and growing. Praise God. And so it's important that you become a partner today. Use the details on the screen. And uh, as the word we just received, we have our banking details right there on the screen for you to give right now. We have details for the U.S., we have details for U.K., and some of these can be used from different countries. We have for Nigeria, South Africa, Canada. You know, just go ahead and um, if you can just take a snapshot of the, the, the one that is relevant to you so that even after the program, you can use it to continue to give. We thank God for all that you're doing. And I want to pray for all the partnership season the offerings that have come in throughout this program because we have been receiving you know partnership seeds uh, you have been given and i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that every seed that is sown oh my bashota, and whatever is represented by that seed may the lord grant your heart's desires in jesus name that seed will multiply that seed will grow it will produce a harvest of blessings it will produce a harvest of exactly what is required in the name of of Jesus Christ and through your giving you are moving forward the Lord is advancing you and taking you forward through this seed that you have sown in these 24 hours of the conference yes your righteousness is established I bless your seeds I bless your offerings and I declare that whatever is in your heart the Lord will grant it to you in the name of Jesus receive hallelujah praise the Lord glory be to God thank you so so much for your giving and I know that we'll continue to uh, hear from you use the details on the screen to uh, become a partner with us let us hear from you and we will uh, work together towards the next healing streams online prayer conference i just want one last word from everyone here before we begin to wrap up pastor Frick, can, you, can you just talk to our audience just a few minutes few seconds praise the lord uh i just want you to take action now uh god answers where you take a step and most importantly i want us to work together the bible says that we are workmanship to, with god together i don't want you alone to be a partner with the healing school i want you to raise more partners you know this blessing is for all christians all around the world Hallelujah. make up your mind that you are going to raise more partners because i know you are already a partner as a result of what you have heard tonight but make conscious effort to raise other partners because Wonderful. as you do so you will begin to expand praise the lord Deacon. Wow, wow, wow. what a night what a night what a night we have received inspiration and we are set for action a man of god told us we should break records make up your mind like never before that you're going to break your record break your record in your healing school partnership like you've never done before give your best mm. beyond your best give a sacrifice mm. because we are preparing for the lord's soon coming mm. we are leaving nothing behind we are leaving no stone unturned we are set to do all that he has called us to do make sure that you are a part of it and as uh, pastor Fure said get others as well to join us in this glorious work god bless you praise the lord thank you sister Saritin. hallelujah what are you waiting for Praise the Lord. What are you waiting for? Connect to this grace. Grace has been talking to you. He's been saying, come. Come, join us. Come and partake of the grace in the ministry. Consistent grace. Amazing grace that will lift you from one level to another. It's a grace that promotes. Join us. So take this vision of our man of God. In taking healing to the nations of the earth. Hallelujah. God bless you. Wow. Praise the Lord. Pastor Tony. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, while um, esteemed Pastor Dipo was ministering and he read from Judges, the Lord asked me to tell you that grace actually has been administered to you. And he says, take advantage of it. Then he says, you don't need God does not need a troop to win a war mm. so as one man you can do all that that church that zone required you to do so take oh. advantage of it glory to God hallelujah wonderful pastor Dipo you shared so strongly with us today thank you so much thank you so much ma'am um, 
partnership with the man of God, Pastor Chris, is um, partnership with greatness. Mm. And just connecting to the grace he carries, you don't need to do another thing. Mm. Just function under the grace he carries. And you know, partnership with the money, there is prayer, prayer just be there, connected mm. with him. You are safe and sound. Mm. You you are you've arrived at your destination. Mm. And that's that's what I want to encourage wow. everyone to be to do. Wow. The connection. You know, Pastor told us that there are some regions of the spirit that you will never have access into except somebody takes you there. So through partnership, you can make the connection and hold hands with the one that knows the way. Yes, ma'am. That's and amazing. Pastor knows the way. And Pastor so, knows the way. Yes. Pastor Larry. Yes, you know, uh, Pastor uh, Dickos comments the good precursor to what I was going to say. You can't follow a success and be a failure. Mm. Just latch onto a man of God. Follow his passions. And thank God, you know, there's a scripture that says we should look to the leaders ahead of us. Then the Bible says, whose faith follow? Mm. And then I remember Pastor years ago, he taught a message. He said, but how can you follow faith that's not visible to you? Mm. Thank you, sir, for making your faith visible to us. Hallelujah. Making your passion clear to us. There's no ambiguity as to what's important to you and therefore there's no ambiguity as to what is important to us as you follow pastor brothers and sisters you are in the place of safety mm. and just like he said your destination will be clear will be clear paul declares it follow me as i follow christ so we know that god's principle is to put ahead of you someone you can follow pastor thank you for teaching us to follow and i encourage everyone just follow pastor follow his passions and you will be complete and total and you would arrive at your destination in god in the name of jesus christ praise wow. god praise the lord thank you so much pastor larry so so strongly said now remember that this conference is all about the july 9 to 11 healing streams live healing services with our man of god as we leave this place go and noise it abroad tell everyone to tell everyone to tell everyone we want to have we want to cover the whole world with the healing power of god in those three days and you are a vital part of it make sure that all the inspiration you have received from this conference on the four-point agenda you put them to work put ev do every single one of them locate yourself in them and do them and be a part of making this uh, a crusade the largest healing crusade we already had the largest one but we are breaking our own records praise god and i know that through this uh, wonderful program the power of god is going to go all around the world i want to thank every one of you for being a part of it i thank every healing school partner a lot of times when we share testimonies we say what do you have to say to the partners but i had to bring out some for you today so you could see them praise god a lot of times we don't see the partner thank you to the partners thank you to the partners but i needed you to meet some of the partners and now you are also one of us praise god thank you to every partner of the healing school and very special thanks appreciation love gratitude to our father our man of god our apostle thank you so much pastor for your passion thank you for your love thank you for your leadership thank you for the vision thank you for your boldness about the things of god thank you for everything you stand for thank you for standing hallelujah at, at a time when the whole world needed your voice your voice was there god counted on you and you spoke out and because of you we have this amazing healing ministry today networking the whole world with the healing power of god we really cannot thank you enough, but we'll continue to serve alongside with you, striving together with you for the faith of the gospel. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the platform. Thank you for the vision of taking healing to the nations. We thank you so much, sir. We love you, Pastor. And we're going to be saying goodbye to you from here for now because July 9 to 11, 2021 is going to be three powerful days of glory, heaven on earth, so to speak. Hallelujah. We look forward to working together with you to make it a grand success. Thank you so much for joining. Goodbye and God bless you.